I am starting to think Damien Chazelle can do no wrong. His previous work, such as Whiplash, holds a very prestigious place in my favorite films of all time, and his most recent movie, First Man, might be a serious contender for my favorite film of 2018 so far. I can honestly say that I wasn't expecting to walk into a film about the Apollo 11 mission and have it be so down to earth. I found myself not only caring for the success of the mission, but also caring for Neil, played fantastically by Ryan Gosling, as a person. This film seems to be more about the Armstrong family's personal dilemmas all being encircled by the impending mission. Janet, who is portrayed by Claire Foy, is just as much of a main character as Neil himself, and we are constantly shown how she deals with everything happening around her and yet still staying strong for her husband and children. None of this takes away from how breathtaking the scenes that take place during the missions are. Giselle's cinematography makes you feel like you are in the extremely small capsule with the astronauts, and with all the clicks of the console and tilts of the vessel, the claustrophobia of the scene really begins to set in. There is one scene in particular, about midway through, where I actually became uncomfortable due to how closed in the scene was. I swear it's a good thing. The final act of the film can only be described as jaw-dropping. The final landing onto the moon is incredibly exhilarating, and even though I know the outcome, I found myself legitimately fearing for the outcome of the landing. The soundtrack is so peaceful and yet so intimidating, so human and at times incredibly alien. It takes you into the scene so well and then cuts at the perfect time. It also just so happens to be the, one of the only films I have seen in a long time that has no sound in the space scenes. It's a great touch. As I said before, the cinematography of the film is remarkable. It can be a little nauseating, although it is used to great effect for the scenes it is part of. Not everything is amazing, however. I did feel that some scenes did drag on quite a bit, and the length of the film is definitely noticeable about around the half length. All in all, this film is incredibly well made, and I wouldn't be surprised if it gets a couple of nods at the various award shows that happen around next year. The cinematography is absolutely fantastic, and I encourage you to see the film in IMAX if at all possible. However, the slow pacing that is sometimes incredibly noticeable keeps it from being on the same level as Whiplash, but it is a must-see film for any film lover. I'm giving First Man a 4 out of 5. So, this is my first video. I love film and everything about film, and I created this channel to express that. On this channel, I plan to do reviews such as the one you just watched or listened to, video essays, film talk, maybe even a short film or two that I'm currently working on. As an aspiring filmmaker, I hope to use this channel as a way to experiment with different forms of media enhance my knowledge of editing, and everything that comes with it. I hope you've enjoyed my video, it's, it's kind of short, but, you know, first videos usually are. There is much more to come. If you love film, hit the subscribe button, give the video a like, thanks for watching.